Add or subtract the following rational expressions. In these rational expressions, note that the denominators can be factored. If possible, always factor all of the denominators. This will often result in a simpler common denominator. As an example, consider x minus 1 over 2x plus 6 plus 2x plus 5 over x plus 3. Note that the 2x plus 6 can be factored. We have a greatest common factor of 2. We then have x minus 1 over 2x plus 3, and then plus 2x plus 5 over x plus 3. Note now that the x plus 3 is a common portion of the denominator. We will simply have to multiply the second rational expression by 2 over 2. So we then obtain a common denominator, again multiplying the second expression here by 2 over 2, and then we expand the numerators and combine like terms. The denominator may be left in factored form. Note here that the first rational expression remains unchanged, x minus 1 over 2 times x plus 3. The second one, the 2 times 2x plus 5, becomes 4x plus 10. And then we combine the like terms, x plus 4x gives 5x, and negative 1 plus 10 gives positive 9. For our first example, in this case, the 8x minus 10, we have a common factor of 2, giving us 2 times 4x minus 5. And here, for the second rational expression, if we factor out a negative 3, note that the plus here is becoming a minus, then we can rewrite the denominator as 3 times 4x minus 5. Note here, we've got the 4x minus 5 common to both rational expressions on the denominator. This means that the common denominator will be 6 times 4x minus 5. That means for the first rational expression, we multiply by 3 over 3, and for the second, by 2 over 2. We then expand the numerators. For the first one, 3 times 3x gives 9x. And for the second, 2 times 5 gives 10. Both of these over the common denominator. We then combine the two numerators. In this case, there's no like terms. So we simply have 9x minus 10 over the common denominator of 6 times 4x minus 5. For the second example, the first rational expression, the denominator, can be factored to y minus 2 times y minus 3. For the second rational expression, we have a difference of squares on the denominator. It can be factored to y plus 3 times y minus 3. Note here, then, that the common denominator will be y minus 2 times y minus 3 times y plus 3. This means that for the first rational expression, we have to multiply the top and bottom by y plus 3. For the second one, we multiply top and bottom by y minus 2. We then have to expand the numerators. For the first one, we have to use FOIL. This gives us a result of 3y squared plus 14y plus 15 all over the common denominator. For the second rational expression, 3y times y minus 2 gives 3y squared minus 6y, also over the common denominator. And finally, we combine the like terms of the numerators. The 3y squared minus 3y squared means that the y squared terms cancel out. 14y minus negative 6y gives 20y. And then we only have one constant on the numerator of the first rational expression. This gives 20y plus 15 over the common denominator of y plus 3 times y minus 2 
times y minus 3.